What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel ReefRx. So as promised, I'm gonna show you guys how to culture your own phytoplankton. It's super easy, it's inexpensive, and there's only a few things that you need. So um, first you're gonna need some sort of uh, container. So I'm using this large five gallon container because um, I produce a lot of it at a, a time. Um, so what I did was I got this, it's just a beverage container from Walmart. And then you just take the cover, you're gonna to wanna to drill a couple small holes in the cover and you're gonna want some sort of light source. So I use these um, LED lights that you can buy off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for um, the stuff I bought off Amazon. So you, and then I took some black foil tape and so I wrapped the lights around, wrapped the black foil tape around so the lights are showing in the inside. And then I have the cord hanging out the back. So this is good because I can swap out these containers. I have one that's already set up. It just needs to be cleaned out. Um, so it's good because I can easily swap out the containers. You don't need a vessel this big. Um, a more common size would probably be a one gallon container. Um, so you can really make it work with anything. Um, but for today, we're gonna use a five gallon container. Um, you're gonna need some phytoplankton. So if you don't already have phytoplankton, you can just buy some. Once you buy it once, you'll be able to produce your own going forward. Um, make sure you shake it up well so anything at the bottom, all the phyto back down there gets included. And you'll need some freshly mixed uh, salt water. I have a bucket here of salt water at a specific gravity of 1.019. And you'll also need some fertilizer, some F2 formula fertilizer. You can get that on Amazon as well. You're going to need an air pump and then you'll need um, some airline tubing. I have a one-way valve on here, so I don't have any back siphon, so that's not a bad idea to have that. And then some 3 8 rigid airline tubing, so you can get this to go straight to the bottom. Uh, first thing you don't want to do is sterilize your vessel. It's very important to sterilize your container every time. I use rubbing alcohol. I'll spray with rubbing alcohol. I'll get a paper towel, clean the inside, and then I'll rinse it really well with RODI water. So I've already done that um, for this container. And um, once we have that done, the container is sterilized, you're going to want to take your phytoplankton and add your phytoplankton. So you want the water to be a light green color, so you kind of just have to eyeball it. This is all I have for phytoplankton. I don't have anything, anything more, so hopefully this is enough. Okay, and then you're going to want to add your uh, freshly mixed salt water. So normally this will take about 7 to 10 days to culture. Um, it'll turn a dark green color. And then once you get that dark green color, uh, you can go ahead and bottle it up. When you bottle it, you want to make sure you put it in a sterile container. Um, and you're going to want to refrigerate it. So I bottle it, refrigerate it, and it'll last a couple of months. And when you have it in the refrigerator, just make sure to shake it every couple of days so it doesn't all settle to the bottom. All right, so now that we have uh, our phyto and water mixed, I honestly didn't think it was gonna come out this dark of green. I probably wouldn't have used as much, but that was a super concentrated bottle of phyto that I had. Um, but this is perfect, actually. So then for our F2 fertilizer, you're gonna wanna use about one ml per gallon. So I have five gallons here, so I'm gonna use five mls for now. Um, within maybe like seven days, if I'm gonna keep the culture going for a little bit longer, or if it's not dark enough, I might add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take my rigid airline tubing. I'm gonna put it, so I drilled two holes at the top here. Um, one so the air can escape and one for the tubing to go in. So I'm gonna push this through. It's important to make sure you sterilize this tubing as well after you use it. So like I said, I use rubbing alcohol. And what I always do, I cut off about a half an inch to the end um, each time um, on the tubing. So I'll put this cover on. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go move this to the location and uh, that I'm gonna have it sitting in. I'll hook up the air pump and then you just let it do its thing. So let's go check that out. All right, so now that I got the phyto where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my airline tubing. Um, my pump is already on. You don't need a massive pump, just something small. And then I have my power cord here that I'm gonna plug into the back to my lighting right here. So I just keep this here and it's easy to swap out uh, the containers. So. That's actually perfect uh, green color. So like I said, this will take about seven to 10 days. And what I like about this container is it has the uh, spigot on the bottom so you can easily fill containers or if you just want a little bit at a time, it's good for that too. 
So that's it. That's how you start the culture in phytoplankton. And um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.